jungles, forests, the ocean, and just the wilderness in general. That's where we expect animals to be. So here's a few places around the world where you not only would not think to see an animal, you might just wonder how that animal got there in the first place. 17. The Horse on the Roof When a young horse found himself home alone, while all his other horse fellows were training, he seemed to have gotten so bored, he decided to climb on the roof. The owners of the property came back to their New Brunswick stable after taking the horses to the track to find the one they left behind standing on the stable roof. The colt, only a year old at the time, appeared to have climbed up a knoll behind the garage. Instead of climbing back down it, however, the horse accidentally made a hole in the way. So he just stayed on the roof until everyone else came home. 16. The Subway Shark Back in 2013, New York subway commuters were surprised to find a shark right under the seat of a subway car. The shark, out of water, still appeared to be wet. Many passengers at first thought the whole thing was a prank. The shark incident would find some steam online, as passengers formed a crowd taking pictures of the marine animal and posting it online, stirring up a mystery on social media. Turns out, some kids had found the shark near Coney Island. Somehow the specimen was found next to a roller coaster, where a different guy decided to take it home, but accidentally left it on the subway. 15. The Monkeys of Silver River Science tells us that no primates are native to the United States. So how did a whole population of rhesus macaques make their home in Florida? For that, you'd have to go all the way back to 1938, when an operating tour boat thought releasing a bunch of these monkeys into the Florida wild would attract more customers in the area. Nearby animal testing sites would be destroyed by Hurricane Andrew decades later, which lead to more monkeys being released. So now there's just a bunch of non-native monkeys in Florida, creatures that you're suggested to not approach since they tend to not be the friendliest of animals. 14. The Mountain Lion's House So the house didn't actually belong to the mountain lion, but he certainly believed the home to be his. In 2015, authorities discovered a mountain lion, known by officials as P-22, sitting under a crawl space of a home in Los Feliz, Los Angeles. He sat there, trapped, but since he had a tracker, he was able to be found. The workers at California Fish and Wildlife were able to get him out after clearing the area of people, so he'd be comfortable enough to come out on his own. The mountain lion is certainly from the area, despite all the people living in the neighborhood, though does not risk relocation since he would have to fight other lions for territory. P-22 eventually found his way back into Griffith Park, his home. 13. The Golfing Gator Alligators make their way out of the water and find themselves on human property all the time, as they really don't care what belongs to who. But at the Mayaka Pines Golf Club in Florida, an alligator named Goliath is a frequent face, since he's made the grassy hills his home. He was found on the course in 2015 on the 7th green. The year before that, a smaller gator was found just lounging in the sun while a golf ball sat on his head. Yet of all the gators that have made their way onto the course, it is Florida, after all, Goliath has to be the biggest one. Once, he was even seen stalking and tackling a different alligator on the course. 12. The Texan Birds Imagine bringing an emu to the middle of Texas and thinking you were going to gain a lot of money because of it. That's exactly how a bunch of emus have called Texas for their home for 20 years now. During the beginning of the 90s, farmers purchased emus and sent them to Texas, since they thought investing in these birds would garner some money back for them. Well, it turns out emus didn't get too big, but at least they were able to thrive in a new region. The Texans' environment is rather similar to the Australian outback, so while they didn't flourish financially, the emus have flourished biologically at least. 11. Camels in Australia Even if you're not an animal biologist, you could probably guess that camels are commonly found in Africa and Asia. But in 1822, Conrad Moltbrunn introduced camels to the Australian wilderness, since he needed them in order to explore the dry climate. Since their introduction, they've ended up becoming more of an invasive species. In their search for water, some camels have been known to violently run into houses to drink from toilets. Nowadays, about 750,000 camels can be found in the Australian outback, despite hunting camels being encouraged. 10. The Pelicans of St. James Park In 1664, a Russian ambassador gifted St. James Park in London with some pelicans, thus starting the pelican population. Centuries later, in 2013, the city of Prague gave the park three Easter white pelicans to join the Russian birds. These are the only pelicans in the park to the present day, making for an incredibly unique sight in this part of Europe where they're not native to. Given the reason they're in the park in the first place, the pelicans have grown to be very social creatures that don't mind interacting with humans, unlike a lot of other park birds. We're looking at you, swans and geese. 9. The Hiking Octopus While the cleanup group were out picking up litter at Scaffell Pike, a summit in England's Lake District, they would come across an octopus. Usually these marine creatures are found in the deeper parts of the ocean, crawling along the floor with their huge heads and eight tentacles. But the one in Scaffell Pike was found at least 978 meters above sea level. So what gives? Many speculate it was probably picked up by some bird of prey, and the bird accidentally dropped it before feasting. Some don't believe this theory, as it would have had to have been a really big and really powerful bird. More than likely, it was probably someone playing a joke.
Eight, British panthers. Lots of people aren't so sure about this one. While there hasn't been any official recognition of panthers, or any big cats for that matter, living in England, there have been a number of sightings over the years to suggest otherwise. Namely, there have been sightings of the, supposedly, Black Panther of Huddersfield, with many believing they've seen a huge black cat-like creature wandering the area, though somehow eluding any clear photos. There's also the wildcat of Warwickshire, captured on camera two years ago. 7. Australia's Shark Infestation How exactly do sharks infest a landlocked body of water? A flood that took place in 2007 would take about 10 sharks out of the waters of the ocean and over the land, leaving them in the lake of a golf course. Instead of the sharks not adapting to their much smaller environment, time saw the bull sharks flourish after months of being out of their original home. It probably helps that bull sharks can live in both brackish and freshwater. And the sharks remained at the lake. Extra precaution, of course, was encouraged to not go near the lake or try to fetch golf balls out of it. 6. Wallabies and Lambe Native to Australia, somehow a colony of wallabies made their way to Ireland, mainly on the Lambe Island just off the coast of Dublin. Back in the 1980s, the Dublin Zoo found itself in the midst of a rapid and uncontrollable expansion of the wallaby population in the zoo. As a result, the huge family of wallabies had to be relocated. Some were given to Photo Wildlife Park in Cork, but since there were so many, they knew they had to find another place to put them, and zoo officials concluded that the nearby Lambay Island would be a fine place to put them. These wallabies have been described as shy yet gentle creatures. 5. The Kangaroo Street Fight When you hear the phrase street fight, you probably think of a dark alleyway in an urban setting with humans. Not a residential suburban area in Australia featuring two kangaroos boxing each other, but that's exactly what happened. In 2014, two kangaroos were recorded on a camera boxing in the middle of a suburban street in New South Wales, and the two males went at it for a few minutes. Sure, it's still Australia, but you don't expect a primal scene like that in the front lawn with a two-car garage. The video of the kangaroo fight would go pretty viral that year. 4. The Wild Parrots of Telegraph Hill That's the name of a 2003 documentary that focuses on the population of feral parrots that live in the neighborhood of Telegraph Hill in San Francisco. During the year 1990, two cherry-headed conure parrots somehow found their way up to San Francisco's Telegraph Hill, with a huge population that followed after a mitred conjure joined their ranks. Years later, a whole flock of these parrots now live there. Though they're native to parts of South America, like Ecuador and Peru and Argentina, no one's sure how they got all the way to San Francisco. But with hundreds of birds now part of their population, seems they're there to stay. 3. Marine Animals at the Mall There's many more marine animals that call malls home than you might realize. While a few malls around the world have little aquariums, they don't always burst sending water and fish into the shopping halls like such an occurrence that took place in a shopping center in Shanghai back in 2012. At the center, a 33-ton aquarium tank full of sharks, fish, and turtles suddenly burst while shoppers were out and about in the mall. A nearby cosmetics counter was destroyed. And in an abandoned mall in Bangkok, you'll find thousands of koi. The New World Mall stands at 11 stories high and was shut down by 1997. Since it had no roof, rainwater flooded the building, and locals decided to add koi and carp to the water to give it some life. 2. Zebras in Texas Just like the emus, humans decided to bring over zebras to Texas. And since the environment of Africa is really similar to Texas, the zebras were able to also thrive. The colony of zebras, however, were only being brought over for the purpose of being hunted. Yet the ranch workers don't breed or feed the zebras, making the zebras truly wild, or as close as the definition of wild zebras can get in Texas. And it seems there's even more exotic animals, aside from the zebras and emus, such as greater kudu, scimitar-horned oryx, and antelope. Number 1. Goats on a Roof Goats are known to climb a lot, and a restaurant in Wisconsin is no exception. At Al Johnson Swedish, you'll find a few goats chilling at the top of a grassed roof of the restaurant. The restaurant was renovated in 1973, and the family wanted it to resemble a log cabin. With the stod roof and all the other materials being brought from Norway, a friend of the owner was the one who suggested they put the goats on the roof. More goats were imported from Scandinavia, and they now live on a 40-acre farm near the restaurant. During the summers, the goats are led up a ramp that leads to the roof. Oh, <laughs>